Nostalgia takes us to a place where we ache to go again. 45 years ago, 37 words changed the lives of a generation of girls and women. 37 words that defined the beginning of girls' athletic equality around the nation. Our journey began with a generation of girls wanting to showcase no their athletic the abilities States and the women the who were willing to give their time, energy, and support to get the girls' athletic program off the ground. This is our history, the generation after, and the beginning of the Zion Benton Girls' Athletic Program. In 1972, the Zion Benton Girls Athletic Program began to compete in five sports. Finding women faculty members willing to coach was a challenge because there were few women out there that had any previous coaching experience. Stepping up to get the athletic program off the ground were Carol Plumer, Marlene Connor, Carol Johnson, and Judy Ferroni. In the spring of 1973, the first state track meet would be held at Eastern Illinois University. The Zion Benton girls track team was off to a good start by sending the 880 relay team consisting of Pam Edwards, Debbie Hatch, Josephine Jones, and Sandy Anderson downstate to compete. This would also be the first year the school yearbook would feature the first pictures of the girls' athletic teams. By the fall of 1973, golf and tennis would join the girls' program, along with uniforms and warm-ups. The tennis team would try to qualify for their first state tournament. In the spring of 1974, track and field would send another state qualifier for a second year in a row. Shirley Sands would compete in the 440. It was an exciting and magical time, only three years into the athletic program. By the fall of 1974, volleyball had state competition, which the Zebes ended their season with a second place finish in district play and a fifth place in the North Suburban Conference. And the 
Continuing strong in the 1974-75 season, the girls' basketball team would tie for second place in the North Suburban Conference. The softball team would share the title as co-conference champions along with Libertyville. would continue their run by sending girls downstate for the third consecutive year. Finally, the ZB girls could hold their own against the powerhouse teams and would become a force to be reckoned with. Girls Athletic Banquet Invitation, held in the spring of Tennis was still going strong. Also, this would be the first year for state competition in basketball and softball. 
Another first, girl athletes would earn their letters and pins. It was also the year girls would sit in on the letterman's picture to send a message to all, and we too should be recognized for our athletic contribution. Track and Field sent Yvette Moss downstate to compete in a 440-yard dash. The IHSA would announce statewide schedule changes for the following year. The 1976-77 season would turn out to be a big year in the girls' athletic program. The first state basketball and badminton tournaments would be held. Volleyball State would hold its first two-class tournament play. All conference players would begin to be chosen, in which Janet Nelson would be the first girl athlete to be a three-time all-conference player in three different sports. The ZB softball team would advance to the regional final for the first time. Track and field would send Sandy Butler and Sue Malinowski downstairs. Andy Butler would win the state championship in discus 11 years after the first athlete, Theo Cox, won for the 100-yard dash in 1966. Tennis 
would send the doubles team of Sherry and Tracy Black to state four years into the program. Softball would have three all-conference players, and track would send Sandy Butler and Luthan Ranta to state for discus and shot put, respectively. The fall of 1977 would add swimming to the program, and the Zebes would leave the North Suburban Conference to join a new athletic conference. So they say It's but a game And they let it slip away Love Like the autumn sun Should be dying But it's only just begun Like the twilight In the road up ahead They don't see just where we're going all the secrets in the universe Whisper in our ears All the years to come and go Take us up, always up We may never pass this way again We may never pass this way again We may never pass this way Say, for the fools and they let them drift away Peace, like the silent dove Should be flying, but it's only just begun Like Columbus in the olden days We must gather all our courage Sail our ships out on the open sea Cast away our fears And all the years will come and go Take us up, always up We may never pass this way again
The Zebes would have six all-conference players, five in volleyball and one in softball. The first girls' cross-country statement would be held. volleyball team would win district and sections only to lose four games for the state time. Sandy Butler's third consecutive state appearance in the distance, and Nancy Sheets would become the second coach to take athletes downstate three consecutive years in track and field.
These women and men were our teachers, role models, mentors, and coaches. They will always be remembered for their time, effort, and dedication to Zion Benton and the community. You were, you are, and will always be loved by a generation of girls. Misty water color memories of the way we were. Scattered pictures of the smiles we left behind. Smiles we gave. Seasons change, a once vibrant campus has met its demise through the erosion of time. The doors are closing on the final chapter where the girls' athletic program began. We will always have our memories of the Rotunda Gym, as it was commonly called, and how we graduated to the Big 175 Gym. This historical era for the ZB Girls Athletic Program, known as Title IX, would become the platform for the future of all girls' athletics.